guys, we're back for another Dokkan battle video. Today we're going to take a look at EZA STR Rose Goku Black. Now, I don't know here. Um, I think, okay, in this guy's passive, you have to deal a finishing blow, right? And it's a substantial buff when he gets it. it it's, it's huge. Um, not just for his offensive abilities, but for his defensive abilities as well. So, I am thinking, right... That, you know, if you're able to get the early finishing blow, I feel like this guy is basically just a better Turles, right? Is how he's going to work. But if you don't get that finishing blow, I'm very curious to see what he's going to look like. Because it's not, like, I, I feel like I've seen a lot of people defending the finishing blow mechanic. And I would just say, like, uh, like you're not real. Like, no, there's no way. These finishing blows, that's like the worst thing they could give to characters. That's like a death sentence at this point. Because when you go into these really tough fights, you don't have the luxury of lining this stuff as pretty and neat with a bow as some people like to pretend that you can. It doesn't work that way. You can't predict, all right, um, this character is going to triple, super, triple crit right here. And then Rose will put in slot two, will finish it right there. Like, it, it, it doesn't work that way. So it's like... Some runs, I feel like this Rosé could be absolute god, and some, he's just going to be, like, okay or mediocre. We'll see. We're definitely going to give our boy a sticker. Let's go ahead and give this to him. Now, keep in mind that at the moment, Rosé does not have a 200% leader skill. Uh, and what's funny is, if Dokkan worked like Legends, he would, right? Because um, in Legends, Rosé is on the Saiyan tag. Um, if, if this Rosé had got pure Saiyans, he would have the 200% leader skill from the Resurrection F Blues. And, I mean, he'd work decently on the team. Um, but, you know, well, yeah, he would, because, uh, the other Goku Blacks would be on there as well, right? Remember, Big Bad Bosses is a huge, uh, thing for this guy. Um, this guy does have a couple of good teams, so besides the, the ROF team, he's also on, um, the Future team, right? And then we also do have access to... Uh, the Power Beyond Super Saiyan, the, the Gods team. We can put him on a 180% lead, the Patara team as well. I can do that. Like, we'll, we'll definitely do a run or two on the Patara team to see what a sort of max buff is. But, like, remember, whereas Tech Vegito Blue, all of his numbers are under 200% leader skills, Rose, it's just going to be 170 and 180% leader skills. So, we do want to keep that in mind. All right, guys, so here we are, turn one. We got a nice slot seven for our opening uh, run. A little bit unfortunate, but it is what it is. You know, this guy would look a lot better with that sight in his hand right here, though. All right, 276k defense is what we're rocking right here, huh? Yeah, that's just not... Because uh, what they do is they focus way too much on his damage. Uh, like, Rosé, like, I, I look at this guy as a support first and foremost, right? I mean, he gives Extreme Class Allies three key 50% defense, which is good. And then Realm of Gods Extreme Class Allies get 50%. So, you know, like AGL Goku Black, who's on rotation right here, is getting 50%. Uh, AGL Goku Black, uh, you know, if, if we get an LR Merge Zamasu who's, like, really good, these units could potentially be pretty solid as well. This Goku Black, the AGL Goku Black. Remember, Goku Black and Zamasu as a unit is going to be getting an EZA too. Um... So, Rosé also lowers Superclass enemies' attack and defense by 30%. That could be very effective in some Super Battle Road stages. But this extra 50% attack and defense he gets, and then he's also super effective against all types after delivering a final blow, is very important, man. It really is. Um, so, Rosé, from his super attack effect, he is getting 50% defense. And then Extreme Class allies get their attack raised by 30% for one turn. Um, it's just... I, I really... Him with that final blow up is looking good. Um, let's see what damage we get. So with this Goku Black, we have everything activated except for Super Saiyan. So his full link set is Super Saiyan, Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Prepare for Battle, Dismal Future, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. Um, I will tell you, Tech VB would be helped out a lot if he had Prepare for Battle as well. This is an insane... I guess one thing that is kind of bad, though, is that this is an insane opening support rotation we walked into right here, right? Like, I, I mean, we, we have, what, 80% support right here uh, between Mai and the AGL Goku Black with nearly all of our links activated. Like, this is, like, his height. This is 6 million? Oh, 6 million? I mean, I, again, as a support, that's going to be good. And it's, like, his damage. So, like, boom, we proc'd it. 
he's now gonna have the extra damage and stats, but unfortunately at this point it's gonna be too late for this. I, I might let, let's turn around with a, a very similar team. Um, and I think what I'm gonna do is uh we'll go to like the legendary Vegeta event again with, with pretty much just like this same exact type of team. Um, I, well, let's go to the Patara team, get the full 180% too. We, we do want to make Rosé look as good as possible, and hopefully we can finish one of the early phases off. It's going to be very important to do so. Alright guys, so we are on the Patara team, so we'll have a little bit of a higher buff, right? We'll be on 180% as opposed to the 170%. So, alright. Let's take a look at what we got right here. So his defense, yeah, brutal. 184. I mean, he, big bad bosses and stuff like that is very important. We have no support right here. Um, Rosé does link fine with a lot of these types of Saiyans, though. You know, we have um, Super Saiyan up. We got Prepare for Battle. We have Fierce Battle. Okay, so what do I want to do here? Man, this is, see, this is nerve-wracking. Because it's like, this is why this mechanic sucks ass. It's like, do we put Rosé in slot 1? And, you know, maybe, like, he crits and we finish him. If I super attack with Int Vegito, what if Int Vegito crits and then double supers and finishes it off, right? Like, this is why this mechanic is horrible. If we could get this to play our way, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to bank on Rosé finishing the job here. Um, super Saiyan, prepare for battle, fierce battle. If, if Rosé finishes the first phase off, we're looking good for the rest of the fight. Let's just hope that Int Vegito, just like a normal super attack right here. No crits, no additionals, no nonsense. Okay, good. Yeah, beautiful. Awesome. All right? Uh, nice, dude. Very good. Very good. Well, now it continues on. And we didn't even get a chance to see him there either. Damn it! Uh, all right. Um. Okay, so this, this Vegeta, surely... Rosé will definitely be able to finish him off next turn. I, I don't I don't think we'll finish Vegeta off right here. And Rosé will just be able to finish him off next turn. So, beautiful. That first turn was a beautiful part of the showcase. Because we got to see, you know, what will probably happen a lot. Okay. Uh, just don't go crazy. Merge the Masu, please. Because th this phase, Rosé with type advantage will easily be able to finish this guy off. Okay. Will he? We might, I, I'll probably put AGL Goku Black in slot one then, and then Rosé will super attack and No, 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 we, we can just have Rosé in slot one. He'll finish him 100%. Okay, cool. All right, so let's see where Rosé is at. So this turn, uh, we're going to have Rosé. This is without his um, uh, buffs from dealing the finishing blow, of course. We could get all seven links here, but we, we need Rosé to super first, obviously. 258k, that's going to take a massive jump up. We're definitely finishing this Vegeta off right here. Okay, perfect. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Now, now we're going to be in business. For an event like this, Rosé is going to be great. He's going to probably be maybe the best support type unit in the game. Unless there's some crazy, like, LR I'm thinking of. Like, Rosé might be the best support in the game for an event like this. Like a Legendary Vegeta event, Legendary Goku event that's going to go on super long with weak opening phases. Rosé potentially could be very good against like Bojack or a similar type fight where you've got a bunch of weak minions at the start certainly could be um I'm gonna I'm gonna leave uh Int Vegito and STR Vegito together over here um I figured you know if we take a lot of damage or something like that at some point um we can just go ahead and fuse and STR Vegito right and uh, get the scouter that might be able to help us out a little bit here um or if we take a lot of damage we can fuse into Int Vegito stuff like that Patara I mean, Patara's definitely got some good characters. Patara can easily be a top-tier team, right? Same with, like, Fusion and some of these teams. Um, it wouldn't be too tough for these teams, I think, to um, get respect. And remember, Fusions, I mean, as I talk about constantly, as you guys know, Fusions are, are the big money, like, stuff, right? Like, Fusions are. So, Anniversary, Worldwide, Tanabata, these types of things are always going to be Fusion characters. All right, so very strong turn here. Let's see what Rosé is sitting at. So now he's up to 410 at the start of turn. So he'll super attack and he's getting 50%. So like this is where it's like on this turn, I like he's looking like the like damn near the best he's ATUR, right? Because like think about what he's doing on this turn. He's giving uh, both of the Goku Blacks 50% attack and defense. Um, if the enemy was super class, and if they could be debuffed, 
we'd be lowering the enemy's attack and defense by 30%. Um, this Vegeta's immune to everything, though. Um, and Rosé is also going to be super effective against all types. So his damage is going to be, I don't know, 7, 8 million, something like that, while being super effective. Could be very interesting to see. All right, so let's let this uh, play out right here. Uh, let's see how much damage Rosé will do. Again, very good rotation. Six out of seven links activated. Um, I'll float one of the Int Vegitos later on, and we can get all seven links active, which will be cool. All right, so we'll, we'll get supered right here. Not a big deal. Rosé's defense is fairly high. I could use a Senzu next turn. Wait, I didn't bring a Senzu. Damn it, so we're not going to see his real defense next turn. 9.69? Rosé super attacking also gave extreme class allies uh, a little bit of a buff. That's... Wow. Okay. That turn, he looked good. That was a lot of support, but, like, that was, that was a strong, impressive-looking turn. Can we fuse and... Uh, yeah, why don't we do this? Let's let's just fuse an SCR Vegito. I, don't, I didn't bring a Senzu, so we can't heal Rosé's defense. It's fine. Let's... Let's, um, let's, I, I want to get this active skill here in the video, sure. Woo! Too good, too good, too good. Okay. Super attacking right at the start, huh? What? It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Alright, so again, in a couple of turns here, um, we'll be able to see what Rosé is going to look like with his full defensive buff. I, I don't know. It, it's I feel like there really is a huge difference for this Rosé um, once we've dealt that finishing blow. If we have the finishing blow dealt, if that's up, that buff is up, uh, Rosé is looking really crazy because his damage... He was at 9 million while being super effective against all types. That is incredibly impressive, right? But it's very difficult to get there. It's like, I'm telling you, it's not going to be easy. It's like, we jump into this stage, sure. But, uh, you know, it, it's like, we, we go into a, a real difficulty stage, red zone. Uh, it's not going to be that simple, right? Like, when we're fighting, like, Omega or something like that... Uh, or Janemba, right? <laughs> See, like, like using him against, like, Janemba... What is this? Are you serious? Alright, well, I'll, I guess I'll just do this. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm just doing this. Because I, I want to leave AGL Goku Black on this rotation. Alright, what are we looking like right here? Oh, right, he, he was debuffed. He got debuffed by Vegeta last turn. So this, this is not um, his proper defensive stats. Which is a shame, because Merge the Monster is giving defensive support, but it's okay. Uh, we could still see what Rosé is going to do right here, um, in terms of his you know, damage-wise on this turn. Uh, this AGL Goku Black is, is not horrible either. It was at 8.67 right there. He is super effective against all types, and supering in the second slot, um, he's buffing Merge the Masu, right? So, hmm. He, he is certainly looking powerful right like i like once you get that buff up his damage wise and stuff he's looking really good um okay so we should be able to finish off this god vegeta right here i'm thinking uh because str vegeta is just gonna do way too much damage right. the, these counters still have a huge bite to them oof he takes 33k even from this vegeta okay uh, all right, we're gonna take a lot of damage here. That's fine. Um, we could just fuse with Int Vegito if once we do take a lot of damage, we'll be all right. Um, next turn will be good. Um, because uh, we will be able to um get all seven links activated too, which I I, I do want to see. Right, uh, all seven links activated with the highest uh, buff percentage that we'll be able to get for Rosé, which of course is the one hundred eighty percent. And Vegito is gonna finish the God Vegito. Yep. Yeah, Vegito. Oh no, he's not. But that's okay. We're 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 gonna be good. Is is this Vegeta gonna live with a sliver of health? If this Goku Black right here eats the super attack, we're just gonna fuse in, in Vegito, I think. No, he finished him. Okay, perfect. Alright, so let's see what we get right here. <clears throat> what is Rose's defense? First and foremost, that's what I wanna see. So he's at 387 right here. 
Um, this is with support from just EGL Goku Black. All right, let me put EGL Goku Black in slot one. I'm curious how well he will do to tank that. Okay. <clears throat> all right, so let's see what we get from Rose on this turn right here. Um, all right, so EGL Goku Black is still building up a little bit. He's up to 4 million right there, sure. Uh, he's not fully built up at this point, right? So he's not his super effective against all types. So that's what they're... They like giving that to Goku Black now, huh? Super effective against all types. Both the EGL one and this EZ8 STR one both can get that, right? Now, he was not fully built up. Okay. He still ate that pretty well. Uh, and you're at 9.46. All right. Yeah, I am I am liking this Rosé, actually. He he seems really good. It, it's it's just kind of like he's he's in a better spot than Turles. Um in terms of like partners and stuff like that, but it's it's like I I I feel like this Rosé has similarities to Turles, right? Like it's it some of the same stuff, right? Like potential like weaker partners, um, you know, not really having a, a team that's great for him. Right? I mean, you could run Rosé with Vegeta and Trunks, right? I mean, he's going to share Super Saiyan, prepare for battle, fierce battle with them. It's not like he's unrunnable next to these characters, but, you know, Rosé is... To take full advantage of him, you want big bad bosses up. So you'd want Rosé on a villain team. This Rosé would be very interesting if certain... Like, you know, time travelers, inhuman deeds, worldwide chaos, right? Like, you know, accelerated battle. All of those could be very powerful villain teams. I, I, I think this Rosé is potentially very good. But, you know, when it comes to the toughest, like, the biggest stage, the brightest lights, the toughest fights, um, it is going to be an issue. Uh, <laughs> I guess we could just say whatever. We, we could test out Rosé right here, right? EGL Goku Black actually would live this, by the way. He wouldn't die. STR Rosé, of course, type disadvantage. Would he live? I think STR Rosé might live, actually. I'm curious. Let, let's let's do this. Uh, his defense may... Because the super attack is the last hit Vegeta's going to do. So, like, we're not going to get hit by the super attack. He massively lowers our defense. Yeah, I think we live. I don't I don't think, v, I don't think uh, Evolution Blue Vegeta one-shots us right here. I don't think so. Remember Rosé's super effective in all types, which kicked in. Oh, no, that was his first attack there. I, dude, I've been messing that up lately. Okay, his first... So, th this normal will have the extra bite in it then. Wow, okay. Well, I mean, that... I guess that's a good example of power creep, huh? I, I think we're still gonna die. Our health is low enough that uh, the, the STR Goku Black at the end is gonna die. Potentially. Um... Maybe, because, I mean... Well, he's got no links activated, but he does have a lot of support up on this rotation. Hmm, Rosé. How how good is this Rosé, right? Like, a big factor of this is we do need um, to finish an enemy off, right? Like, if we don't finish an enemy off, right, like, his stats are not really as effective. It's just going to be a case-by-case -case basis. Sometimes you'll get really lucky you could deal that, and then, like, Rosé is able to, to survive, like, this level of boss, right? Uh, that was type disadvantage, too. Like, that was not... I, I feel like that was pretty good by Rosé. I don't know. All right, this is Furious Punishment. Goku Black, Super Saiyan Rosé. Um, his leader skill is Extreme Type Allies, 4 key and 140% if the team has all five Extreme Types. I feel like that's not really going to be too relevant. Um, his super attack is the Waltz of Chaos, which greatly raises defense for one turn, does immense damage to the enemy, and then uh, raises Extreme Class Allies... Uh, attack by 30% for one turn. His passive skill, Transformation of Fury, gives him 150% attack and defense at the start of turn. He gives Extreme Class Allies 3 key 50% defense. That's very good. Then he gives Realm of Gods Extreme Class Allies 50% attack. Um, then he lowers Super Class Enemies attack and defense by 30%. Uh, then he gets another 50% attack and defense. And super effective against all types for the rest of the battle after he delivers the finishing blow. Um, so that mechanic is horrible, right? It is a multiplicative buff uh, that he's getting from that extra, uh, like the, the damage and the defense from the final blow. But it's uh, it, like that's, 
I don't like it's a huge difference before and after for this guy. Like like him being above 400k defense at the start of turn, and then he's still getting 50% from a super attack effect, right? Like that that does make quite a difference for him. Um but it's like if you go into one of these tough red zone sieges, you don't get a finishing blow off early, like it, it's not going to be pretty for him a lot of times, I think. His link set is Super Saiyan, Big Bad Bosses, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Nightmare, Fear and Faith and Fierce Battle. 12 key multiplier, 160%. Uh, Rosé is one of the very, very few units in the game that have um, the 160% 12 key buff. Again, there's there's very few. Um, there's a few easy A's that this Rosé could actually help you in, including Physical Vegito Blue. There's the, the Father, Son, Gallet Gun um, Trunks and uh, Vegeta as well. Um, and then finally, our boy Rosé is on a number of category teams here. Um, he, of course, is on the Realm of Gods team. Uh, he is also over here on Patara. Any buffs for these type of... Like, a lot of these teams need buffs. Future Saga could use any buffs it could get. Um, he's also on Time Travelers. Time Travelers is going to be such a fun team. I'm very interested to see how they're going to build Time Travelers. What, what, like, what lead it's going to be and stuff like that. Um, then Rosé is also on uh, Exploding Rage. What is this? Yeah, it's Exploding Rage is the global name, yeah. Uh, so Rosé is on the Exploding Rage team. Uh, then he is also over here. This is Inhuman Deeds, which eventually is probably going to be a pretty good looking team, right? This is, yeah, th yeah, this is Inhuman Deeds. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Um, so he's on Inhuman Deeds. Uh, then he is also over here on Corroded Body and Mind, right here. Uh, this team, I mean, yeah, this team could use any help it could get for sure, right? Uh, then Rose is over here on this is Accelerated Battle, is what this category is right here. Uh, then Rose is on Worldwide Chaos, another villain team that potentially could be interesting in the future. Um, and then finally, Rose is on the Power Beyond Super Saiyan team. Remember, Rose is not getting the 200% though, because he's not on Kamehameha. He doesn't do this. This card doesn't do the Kamehameha, right? So let me know what you guys think of SCR Rose after his EZA. If you get the finishing blow off, he's good. Like, best EZA TUR good, potentially. Uh, maybe I'd still have future Gohan above him. Uh, yeah, the, the, the top easy ATURs is tough. I I feel like it's more likely Vegito looks good in any given run than Rosé. Uh, Rosé and Vegito both. It's like you need RNG. You just need luck. And they could be very effective, both of them. But you need luck for both of them. I would probably... I feel like leaving this showcase... Um, I already took Vegito Blue into the red zone at this point. I would probably probably say something like Physical Future Gohan, VB, Rosé, then Evolution Blue Vegeta at four. I think for easy ATURs is probably how I'm feeling. Um, s -tier Ultimate Gohan is in there as well, so is Turles. Um, I, I might have Turles 5, s -tier Gohan at six, maybe? We'll see. I, I feel like a couple of these easy ATURs recently, they're, they're, they're not bad. These units can be effective. Um, but, you know, it's not just like, oh, you, you, you throw them out, turn one, slot one, and they're destroying everything, right? Like, it's a little bit of, of stuff you need to go your way for some of these characters. So, let me know what you guys think of uh, EZA SCR Rosé. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you all next time.